Hi, tonight we're going to make a Bountiful Brunch Pizza. And I told you guys about this the other day and a couple people asked me about it so I thought we would go ahead and make it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a baking stone. You could use a round pizza pan. You don't necessarily have to have a baking stone. And we're going to put a piece of parchment paper on top of it. Parchment paper, it's not wax paper, it's different. Um, it comes in a roll, you could get it in the grocery store. Some things that you use parchment paper for would be if you're going to make cookies um, so they, they don't spread, and that's what our intent is here, so it doesn't spread all over the place. Um, a lot of times if you're making a whole bunch of cookies, you could use parchment paper and just keep on taking those pieces off of the cookie sheet and not have to wash the cookie sheet in between making a whole bunch of cookies. So what I have here, is um, a package of hash browns, okay? And I took one beaten egg and put it in and I put some salt and pepper. And this is gonna actually be our crust. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take this and we're gonna spread it out on top of here. And this is gonna be the crust. And we're gonna bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes. And you could really put anything you want on top. You could use ham, you could use bacon, you can use just vegetables if you're, I mean, I know there's a lot of vegetarians that watch. So you could just use um, eggs and vegetables. A lot of people that are watching their weight that watch. You could use egg whites and vegetables. You don't necessarily have to use whole eggs. We're going to today because we eat here. And then we're going to pop it in the oven. 400 degrees for 10 minutes. So we took the crust out of the oven. It cooked for about 10-15 mm, minutes. You just want it light brown. It's really steamy. So be careful because it's kind of hot. Okay, we made some scrambled eggs, and this is just seven eggs um, with some milk. We'll put the recipe, you know, up there, whatever we put it. So you're just going to take your scrambled eggs, and you could put whatever you want in them. You could put onions, you could put hot sauce, you could do them whatever, however you like to do your eggs. Okay, we're just going to put those on top. We're going to put, it, the recipe calls for a, um, a cup of ham. I don't like ham, so we're using bacon. Same thing. You could use anything that you want. It would be good with leftover ham if you had leftover ham. So we're just going to put bacon all over the whole top of it. And you could crumble it up, leave it whole, whatever. You could use turkey bacon too if you want. We're just going to put some mushrooms on. Half. Half. Green onions. Half. Those of you that don't know. My son doesn't like vegetables, so we're not going there. And I know he should, and he will someday, so we don't need to get into a battle over it. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to stick all that on this side. All right? You could put any vegetables you want. If you're a vegetarian, go for it. Um, you could use egg beaters. You could use... Um, you could load it up with broccoli and any kind of vegetables that you want, and that would be just wonderful. Okay, so one side, the other side, and then we're just going to sprinkle cheese on top of it. Okay, so you want to take your cheese, and here would be a good time if you want to put more salt and pepper on it, if you wanted to put any other spices on it, a little bit of hot sauce, whatever, um, whatever you normally do with your eggs. Then we're just going to just put a bunch of cheese on, um, whatever kind of cheese that you want. Cheddar cheese, Kobe Jack cheese, whatever you would like. So you have it all done, so we're going to stick back in the oven, 400 degrees. And we'll take it back out in a few minutes and we'll cut it and take a peek at it. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Okay, you just want everything to get melted on top. And then you want to let it cool for a couple of minutes and then you could cut it with a pizza cutter. You're going to cut it into wedges, okay, and that's about it. Um, breakfast for dinner, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for breakfast. But anyway, there's a lot of variations to it, and we'll put the recipe up. And uh, thanks. See ya.